Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing it. We are doing my favorite best luxury beauty products of 2023. We are going to run through the entire face top to bottom and talk about my favorites. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. We are starting off with primers. So for eyeshadow primers, I had a new discovery here, the Hourglass Veil Eyeshadow Primer. This is a small but mighty product here. It's exactly what it says it's going to do. It's an eyeshadow primer, eyeshadow base, so you put some of this on your eyelids before you put on your eyeshadow. It locks it down, it stays in place, it makes everything pop just a little bit more, and it's just a great product. I have hooded, oily eyelids, and so, I can really appreciate a good primer. And this year, I also really dipped into face primers, like face bases. I wasn't always this type of person, but this year, I really dove in head first. And the first one that I fell in love with is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This is not new, it's been around forever. This is the year for me that I just like dipped in. It looks and feels like a really beautiful, generous, moisturizer and it really just adds an extra layer of hydration it smells like a soft citrusy scent if you have dry skin dehydrated skin mature skin or if you live in really cold climate this is perfect for you i'm wearing that primer today mixed with a drop of these drunk elephant bronzing drops so i used this all summer and i'm still wearing it now so you really can just add a drop or two to your foundation, to your primer routine, to give yourself a bit more glow, a bit more tan in the summer if you want. Or, you know, if you just want to give yourself that beautiful, slight bronzed glow throughout the year, you can wear this on its own for like a beautiful, no makeup makeup day, just a gorgeous glow. Or mix it into your foundation if you need to adjust the color a little bit between seasons. This is beautiful. It's called like the D Bronzy Anti Pollution Sunshine Drops. It's a lot of words for beautiful, glowy drops of sunshine into your foundation. And I've been enjoying mixing my primers this year, mixing and matching them together. Next up is the NARS Radiance Primer. It has an SPF of 15. This is an oldie but a goodie. It's almost always in these favorites videos. It gives you a beautiful, rosy, pink peach glow if you want to boost your glow that sort of thing it's absolutely stunning there's a little gloop here but if i can get it off the back of my hand there we go it really just gives you that glow again it's one of those products that i sometimes wear on its own with like some concealer a little bit of blush because it really just makes my skin look beautiful on its own without having to go into a foundation you know, it's really nice. I think I spent half of this year without wearing any real foundation. And another primer here that I used during my no foundation mood was this Le Beige Healthy Glow Cream Rosy Beige. This came out with the Le Beige collection this summer. And sadly, this is not widely available. So it kind of has a similar texture to the bronzer, but it has this beige glow. It's really pretty. It kind of just unifies your skin tone and makes you look a bit more radiant and unified. It's really pretty, really silky. You can see it just looks a bit healthier here on this side. And I wore this so much in the summer, just on its own, yeah. Just like a nice, beautiful primer with concealer and something, something on the cheeks and lips and just gives you that beautiful glow. I don't think this is coming to the US, sadly, but it was my favorite this year. A favorite from the spring here is the Chanel Baume Essentiel in Lila. It has this beautiful lilac shade. I promise it's not as jarring when you apply it. It gives you just a beautiful pearlescent pink lilac shift. So gorgeous for spring. Gives you that ugh, boost of color. I love this one underneath foundation. That's why it's in the primer section. And then next up here is the number one de Chanel, the Embellisseur de Teint. So this is like the skin enhancer. This is what it looks like here. And I have the one number one soft pink. It just gives you, it's, it's similar to the NARS Radiance uh, primer here. Just that beautiful pinky rosy glow, 
a light shift in it as well very very pretty very subtle but then sometimes i want something not so glowing and luminous i have the forever velvet veil so this one here is really pretty if you want something it's going to mattify and blur this has a nice blurring effect this one here looks much more subtle these ones give you that luminous glow whereas this one almost looks like a very very sheer skin tint but it's more of a primer and it just gives you that soft blur that you can wear underneath the foundation just to enhance your makeup or on its own. Moving on to eyeshadows, this is what I'm wearing today. It's from Clé de Peau. This is the number five Coral Reef. Now, don't be scared by the name. There's no real coral color in here. So today I'm actually wearing all four colors. I went into this one as the base, this in the crease, this on the lid, and then this for darker shadow. Clé de Peau came out with these colors this year and I really love them. You can buy them as refills and then just pop them into the palette. So this is what the colors look like. Listen, it kind of just looks like very basic neutral colors, but that's why they're so pretty. They just look put together. It looks like I'm wearing eyeshadow, but it's sort of neutral and just very, very pretty. Sometimes you just need those types of shades that, you know, they look kind of boring in the palette, but when you wear them, they just always look so elegant and put together. The next one from Clé de Peau is number nine, pink coral shells. I love a pink, I love a purple. These ones here are subtle and soft as Clé de Peau would do, but they just have a little bit more color to them. You can see that the purple and pink are soft. It's not vulgar, it's not jarring. It really is just like soft springtime shades, the best way that Clé de Peau knows how to do them. And again, th these ones here, you buy the shades separate and then they pop in the palette like this, so they're refillable, which is nice. And I'm really glad that Clé de Peau decided to redo their shadows this year. So there's one here from Armani that I just love so much. It's one of their liquid eye shadows, and this one here is called Cold Copper. In the tube, it kind of just looks like, you know, kind of basic, but the reason I love Armani eyeshadows is that these are self-setting, so you don't even need to use an eyeshadow primer. You can use them on their own. And this is just a stunning one and done shade. It looks luminous. It adds brightness to the eye. This with some mascara, you're done. You don't need to use five colors. Some days you just need to use one. And this one here, Cold Copper, ugh, ultimate favorite. Next one is from Violette FR. So I love Violette FR for Guerlain and I love her for her own brand as well. So this is a liquid eyeshadow slash eyeliner. So what I do is I use this wand here and I use it as eyeliner to do a nice flick. And this is called Ciel de Nuit, and it's a super dark matte navy. You could use this for a beautiful dark navy smoky eye or just a little winged liner. This is not exactly precise, but basically that's what I do. I do a little winged liner, and the fact that it's a dark navy just elevates it and makes it a little extra and a bit more mysterious. Next up is Prada Beauty and I have this palette here. I think it's called number two. It is the classic smoky eye with a twist. So all Prada palettes have three classic shades and a twist. I bought this in London recently and I just love it. These two colors are absolutely stunning and it's actually quite shocking how wearable the twist is. It doesn't look quite as jarring in the when you wear it, when you see it here. It's actually quite wearable and quite nice, and I find the textures and the quality of Prada eyeshadows to be incredibly nice. Now, this here from Dior, I really loved their Eden Rock palette. I love blue eyeshadow, and this one here came out at the perfect time in summer. It's inspired by the Mediterranean, by Eden Rock, the luxurious spa resort, and you can just sort of see the beach, the sand, the rocks, the sunshine, really everywhere here in the palette we have the soft browns for the beach and the sun and everything and then we have the blue for the water and i just love blue eyeshadow i love the summer and this was just such a great palette and just totally great quality from the brand as well just like the same quality eyeshadows as usual for chanel this year i really appreciated and loved this tissé combon palette it has those perfect pink and purple shades they're very subtle and very wearable colors, so beautiful. And I also really love the Le Blanc collection this year from the brand. 
Again, these are pastels and they may not have reinvented the wheel, but sometimes you just like what you like. And I loved the pastels. I got so much use out of this palette here. Similar, well, you know, there's some purple here, but very different. And then I really, really loved the Parure Cristal this year for the fall release. Again, these are not new shades. Nothing is reinvented, but sometimes you just need something soft and subtle and very wearable. And I would think that the Parure Cristal finish reminds me a little bit of the Tissé formula, just very soft and very wearable in a beautiful way. This year, Tom Ford really blew me away with her Soleil Neige release. So pretty, and you may look at this and think, eh, it's fine. Honestly, the shimmer colors are what sold me. They're just so beautiful, so soft and luminous, and this slightly frosted color gives you that cool frostedness. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a bit basic, but honestly, Tom Ford makes great shadows, and this one here I love so much. This year from Guerlain, I absolutely loved their spring, summer, summer jean palette. The compact, the shades themselves, they really combined purple and blue and this sort of blurple combination, which has to be one of my favorites. It was so pretty, so light, perfect for springtime. I loved it so much. And then they also came out with something much more chill and everyday. This is, uh, I think this was the Wild Nudes release for fall. So the palette doesn't look thrilling. You know, we don't see purple or blurple in the palette here, but when you wear it on the eyes, the Wild Nudes just look basic in the best way, just really neutral and soft and everyday. But for the holiday release, this was called Glittery Tiger, such fun, festive colors. And they really went outside of the box, you know, with the shades here. They're very festive, very beautiful, but not just the classic holiday colors. And I really appreciated that. This was just really fun and so pretty. And I just appreciate different shades. I really, really do. For eyeliners, it's incredibly basic and boring, really. I always love the Chanel Stylos Yeux Waterproof, either 88, which is like a pure dark black, or number 20, which is a nice dark brown espresso. They're waterproof, smudge proof, they don't move. I also really love the Dior Show Coal Liner because this one is buttery. It's similar to Victoria Beckham where you can draw like a really easy buttery line and then smudge it with the little sponge tip on one side. You know, it has the eyeliner on one, sponge tip on one. Easy peasy, love that. So for mascaras this year, I love the YSL Lash Clash, which is what I'm wearing today. It's this one here, beautiful. I love how big the wand is. You just get that fluffy, voluminous um, mascara look. I almost said eyeshadow, but mascara look. I also loved the Dior Show Iconic Overcurl. Used that all summer, loved it. The Benefit Fan Fest, so good. This came out this year. I bought the travel size, wonderful. Just like really fanning and like expanding and separating. It separates your lashes really good. But I think the number one hit of mascara this year was the, uh, the Clinique High Impact Mascara. Yeah, it was so good. Also very affordable, wonderful mascara. Lots of separation, lots of drama, definition, volume. Just an overall wonderful mascara from Clinique. Next up are foundations. Now, I did not wear much foundation this year. Like, I really didn't. But when I did wear foundations, there were a handful that I always used. So the first one is the Dior Capture Total Super Potent Serum Foundation. I have the shade 3N. So this is skincare and foundation mixed in one, which is a theme here. It's just beautiful, and it's what I'm wearing today. It has a soft velvet finish, it has a nice level of coverage, and it, it's moisturizing, it's hydrating, it feels a bit like skincare all, well, all the day, all day long while you're wearing it. So it just feels nice, it looks nice, it's just, it's really beautiful. Next up is the Sublimage L'Essence de Teint. This one here is a bit more serum-y, a bit more of a serum runny foundation. It's similar in the concept where it, it's skincare and makeup two-in-one. This one here is beautiful. It has a little bit more of a soft velvet matte finish, not drying, but just gives you a beautiful canvas, is unifying, but gives you a bit of that skincare benefit. 
Last but not least here is the Shiseido Revitalescence Skin Glow Foundation. This one here again, it's skincare and makeup. This one has a nice medium coverage, but this one here is very dewy, very luminous, very glowy. It's very hydrating as well. So depending on your climate and your skin type, this could be good, but this is the most radiant one out of the bunch here today. For concealers, I have my Chanel Sublimage Concealer. This is the concealer I'm wearing today. I wear the shade 32. This is incredibly expensive. It is worth every single cent. It is hydrating, it is creamy, it is non-creasing. Once you blend this out, it does not move, it doesn't crease, it doesn't budge, it doesn't fade, it stays in place. It's worth every single cent. I've said it a million times, but Next up is the Armani Luminous Silk. So this one is new to me. I picked it up like in the fall, I think, in the summer. Absolutely, no, I think it was in the summer. Gorgeous concealer. 5.5 is the shade that I wear. It has a little bit of a peachy cut to it. It's a very liquidy concealer and it dries really quickly. It's just great. Also doesn't crease. Um, it's a great concealer. Uh, the last two here are similar versions of each other. I have the Dior Forever Skin Correct. It's like a corrector concealer. And the Givenchy Prism Libre Skin Care and Concealer. Both of these are concealer, corrector, hybrid, two-in-one. And for the Forever one, I wear the shade 2WP. And for Givenchy, I wear C305. These are just great concealer correctors. Great for... A very minimal makeup look where you want to do a little bit of everything two in one these are great options moving on to blush i love a good blush so what i'm wearing today is suku and this is the suku pure blush zero one this is the blush here i've owned it for several weeks and it's already losing a bit of its design here it's a beautiful gradient this is the blush i'm wearing here it's soft it's pink not too pink it's really just that perfect shade and i like to <laughs> swirl my brush here and get just that perfect flush like look at that it's just it's a flush of pink but it's not too flashy it's not too bright just the right amount next up is the armani blush here in number 10 armani came out with blushes this year i love this shade so much number 10 it's it gives you color but not too much like it's so soft it's subtle it's there but it's like a peach it's like your cheek but better absolutely stunning love it another blush here that's just kind of a standard oldie but a goodie is the dior backstage rosy glow this is the original shade number one i believe it's just the original pink it looks like a hot pink in the palette here trust me it's a lot more wearable it really just adapts to your skin ph it looks almost like a bubblegum pink here but when you wear it it really it like it it adapts to your natural flush so whatever that may be it's going to lean into that pink so pretty it's often what i wear when i can't really figure out what blush to wear i'll go into my backstage pink another one from dior that i love is the 459 charnel this has replaced uh, chanel's jersey blush for me because it's a beautiful warm nude it gives you your cheek but better just that perfect subtle flush. It has a little bit of a satin finish, so it gives you a little bit of a luminous glow, but not too much. Very subtle, very pretty. Opposite of that is the Chanel uh, Fantaisie de Chanel. This came out, I think, either spring or summer or Le Blanc this year. So pretty. It's described as a pastel fuchsia that's luminous. You can tell that I love it from how um, wrecked the palette is here, but just... Uh, so pretty Ugh, just that perfect flush of pink it reminds me a little bit of these two here with a little bit more luminosity it has that glow almost like a highlighter and blush hybrid moving on to hermes i love hermes has a beautiful floral scent here this compact absolutely stunning love her this is number 19 rose abricot so if i want a little bit of a warm, slight warm, orangey, tangerine apricot color. This is what I go for. And their blushes are so long wearing, my goodness. Once you put this on your cheek, it doesn't matter how many hours your day is, your cheek stays all day, which is always convenient. Moving on to bronzers. So I'm going with bronzers contouring products here. 
I have the travel size of the Westman Atelier Contour Stick in Biscuit. I'm wearing that today just a little bit, just to give a little bit of that contour and definition. I love it. I get so much use out of this. If you want to contour your cheeks, your nose, you know, you can go into like the little sides as well. So pretty. It's more cool tone. So it's really perfect for contouring more than bronze or bronzer because it won't leave you looking orange. It's so pretty. I love it. I'm actually using up the travel size. So I may go ahead and buy a full size. Yeah, that's how much I love it. Next up is Tom Ford. I love the Tom Ford Terra bronzer. I think this is greatly underappreciated. It's just so pretty. It looks like bronzer, but not really. Like when you blend it in, it almost melts into the skin and it looks like nothing. So you're wearing bronzer, but you can't really see it. Perfect, love it. Next up is the Hermes H Trio bronzer. It has a very long-winded name, but I have the shade number two, Atlas here. A beautiful bronzer, love it. I love the motif inside here. It's actually a few different shades together, but I always just swirl around and get one beautiful unified color here. So pretty. And this formula is very soft and subtle, very buildable. And again, just sort of melts into the skin. Moving on to highlighters. I have an item here. This is the Sublimage Le Concentré Lumière. I think I should have put this in with the um, primers because this is a liquid highlighter, but I like to wear it as a primer. So this is what it looks like here. It's almost like a thick gel. It gives you a beautiful, glowy, luminous look. It has Sublimage skincare in it. This came out around the time of the holiday release because Chanel came out with a lot of holiday highlighters this year. But this one here from Tom Ford, part of the Soleil Neige, it's what I'm wearing today. This is my highlighter. Absolutely gorgeous, stunning, buttery, smooth, amazing highlighter. Like this is a powder. When you wear it, it literally blends into the skin like it's a cream or a liquid. It just dissolves into the skin. It melts into the skin. Absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. I love it so much. For powders, I really just have two. I have the Chanel Universal Loose Powder. This is a shade number 30 that I wear. And it's just a beautiful, finely milled face powder. It has a beautiful puff up here. It's blurring, it's mattifying, it helps my makeup stay in place, so pretty. I love this one, but the one that I'm wearing today is Givenchy. This is the Prism Libre, and this is the shade number three, Voile Rosé. It has the faintest, softest pink undertone to it. That's what I'm wearing on my face. Obviously, this is not my skin tone, but there's something about that soft pink that brightens, illuminates, it's beautiful. And the powder formula is very finely milled. It's very radiant. It's not matted, like it's, it sort of mattifies in a velvet veil type of way, but it's non-drying, so really, really pretty. All right, last but not least, we have the lip category. The first item here is a lip liner, and this is from Chanel. This is the 162 Nude Brown, made a heart, it's sideways, oops. But this is what it is here. Sometimes you just need a basic nude brown lip liner. It's really not reinventing the wheel. Uh, next up is lip care. I have a lot of lip care that I often use as lip gloss. The first one here is the Dior Lip Glow Oil. I love these. I've owned several different colors. This is the shade 001 Pink. It's what I'm wearing on my lips. It's glossy, it's thick, it's nourishing, it's hydrating, and it has just a little bit of pink to it. Super pretty. Let me just re my lips. I love these so much. Next up are the Maximizers. I love these so much. I have this one here, 004 Coral. This one came out spring, summer of early this year. Just the beautiful light creamsicle coral shade, very easy to wear. Then we have the 067, this one just came out. I believe it's called like a rose gold. Again, it's like a very easy to wear, beautiful color, has a bit more pearlescence to it, a bit more shine. 
and then 037 which is a bit darker it's a bit more of like a rose red color it's more intense more rich but i love them they're they give your lips a little bit of a plumping effect they're very nourishing very hydrating just amazing lip care products and then we have the givenchy rose perfecto liquid lip balm imagine if you took a chapstick and liquefied it that's what this is it's a lip gloss lip balm and this is the shade 01 so it's the same principle as dior where it enhances your natural pink ph like your natural lip color in pink i have other shades but this one here is my absolute favorite it looks as though i've actually used it up that's how much i love this one here and what's nice about this texture is that it's really thick like it doesn't run doesn't move it stays on your lips all day really pretty Next up is the U Beauty Lip Plasma Compound in Fawn. If you just want a beautiful brownie nude lip, this goes great with this lip liner here. Just your lip, but better, but a bit brown. And it looks a little bit less opaque and dark on the lip, I have to admit. Next up is Guerlain. I bought a few lipsticks from Guerlain this year. The first one here is 819. I think this may be my favorite. I wore this so much in the fall, 819. It's similar to these three over here, these two actually. I forget the name exactly. I think it's Cashew Brown. So pretty. And this is the Le Rouge G Velvet formula. I think these are probably, or in my opinion, these are the best velvet matte lipsticks on the market. In terms of longevity and comfort and wear, they last all day, several hours. They don't move, they don't budge. Absolutely gorgeous. They are popular, but not as popular as I think they should be. They're just magnificent. And then I also bought a couple of gorgeous lipstick cases from Guerlain, which they are known for. This was the Summer Jean release. This was the holiday release, the Glittery Tiger. I have the 521 Pink Flamingo shade, which is surprisingly much more wearable than the name Pink Flamingo. Like you think Pink Flamingo, you're like, wow, I'm gonna steer clear of that. No, it's really pretty, very easy to wear, very soft and pink. A little bit of pink, not too much. And then a summer jean, the shade is 360. I think this was like a, like a milky pink beige, something like that. It's very pretty. It's almost like a mix between the top two here. It's a bit pink, a bit brown, very pretty. And then the last here, the trio are from Chanel and this was their spring summer release that came out early January of this year. These are the Rouge Allure Velvets and I bought some fun punchy colors. I got a 45 Intense because winter here is bleak so I need some infusion of color. Ugh, look how fun that is. So pretty, so pink. Hey Barbie, how are you? Then I have 46 Magnetic. Similar-ish but a little bit different just a little bit different and then 64 eternal <sighs> think of a beautiful muted plum so pretty i wore these so much on my channel i'm sure if you look back you will have seen these a lot on my lips and a lot of this makeup on my face during the past year all right guys i did it i ran the gauntlet i drank my water i drank my coffee we went through the whole year. We did a time capsule of 2023 luxury beauty. I like to talk about new releases, but also some old releases too, because if I only talked about the, my favorite new releases, like it would be a lot shorter, but I just feel like if I include permanent items, older items, it's just more true to myself and the way that I like to view and enjoy luxury beauty. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. So normally when i post i my, my posting schedule is monday wednesday friday but mm, since it's almost the holiday season i'm deciding i'm not posting on friday you'll have to forgive me i don't feel like working on the friday right before the holiday season i mean it's holiday season now but you know what i mean like, i don't want to work on the friday before the holiday break so this is the last video for like a week and a half i'm taking a week off the week of christmas i'm taking that off Ugh doing nothing it's gonna be amazing and then i'll be back the week of january 1st i don't think i'll be back january 1st because i've heard there's some new chanel collections coming out on the second so i'll be back 
on the second or the third. So yeah, I'll be gone for a hot minute. I'll be resting. I hope you get to rest. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you for watching this entire video. If you've made it to the end of the video, leave a little red heart emoji. You're like a trooper. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Make sure to leave a comment and you can let me know what were some of your favorite makeup releases or favorite makeup products in general from last year. I hope you all have a beautiful and restful week. I hope that you get a week off of work or at least a few days off. I hope that for you. Thank you for being here. I wish for you for the new year that every time you have an outfit in your mind and you put it on, I hope that it looks amazing on you. I hope it looks even better in person, you know? I wish that for all of you. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.